Hello, my name is Matthew Longman from Azimuth Solar Products. Today I'm talking about silicon dioxide batteries. Silicon dioxide batteries are also known under the trade names of lead crystal or crystal batteries. Uh, they're produced by companies based in Canada, Germany, and Australia with manufacturing in China. These batteries are one of the most durable batteries we found on the market. They have a higher temperature range than lead acid and lithium ion batteries and a lifespan that is three to five times longer than a standard lead acid battery. So a typical uh, lead acid battery that you might get from Costco can run about 600 cycles for a uh, deep discharge battery. Um, and with a higher end battery, say from Trojan or Rolls um, in a similar size, you're probably looking around uh, 1100 to 1200 cycles of uh, discharge and recharge at 50% capacity. These batteries are rated for 2800 cycles at 50% depth of discharge and 1500 cycles at 80% depth of discharge. So if you discharge these, by 80%, you're still going to outperform a standard lead acid battery at only 50% dip, uh, depth of discharge. So you get much more usable power. Beyond that, they're more environmentally friendly in that they only use about 5% of the sulfuric acid based in a regular lead acid battery. They're sealed. They do not off-gas, so they can be in enclosed spaces and are used very often in marine and RV use where you have an enclosed compartment that can't be vented easily. And the um, electrolyte inside the battery, because there's virtually no liquid once the battery is fully charged, it actually crystallizes inside. They don't boil and they don't freeze. So extreme high temperatures of 65 Celsius or 149 degrees Fahrenheit, these batteries have a higher range than other standard batteries and lithium batteries as well. And at freezing temperatures um, in remote Arctic locations or anywhere northern where you do get sub-zero temperatures, these are good down to minus 40 degrees. And at that temperature, you're also getting about 40% more power, more capacity out of these batteries than you do with a standard lead acid battery. Now, a lot of people um, have not heard of these batteries. They're actually not a new technology. In 1979, these batteries were first patented. Um, they were designed for military use uh, so that if the casing was cracked um, in an altercation or for whatever reason, it wouldn't leak acid and the battery would still function. Now, at that time, material technology was not up to what we have uh, these days with nanotechnology. So the batteries had to be very large to store a reasonable amount of power. Now, with uh, higher voltages available due to nanotechnology uh, components inside the batteries, they're actually about 85% of the weight of a typical lead acid battery of the same capacity. So, in 19, or excuse me, in 2009, uh, the new version of these batteries was patented, and then they became uh, more common in production. And it's just the last couple of years that these have been available for regular consumer use for solar, off-grid, and uh, telecom uh, applications. So with these, uh, we do recommend them for a variety of uses. And if you'd like any other information, please go to our website at www.azimusolar.com or you can contact us directly. Thank you.